Today we are gonna make Uyghur style lamb spare ribs. So today we are going to make lamb ribs. I can't wait to share this recipe with you. This is my father's recipe. It's so delicious, amazing. It tastes like home. Let's begin. As you can see, I let the butcher um, cut the lamb. I'm going to divide them. I cut them already. As you can see, it has a layer of fat and it has also like this uh, bone fragments. So I'm gonna wash them. Now I'm going to dry them. It's really important this step, otherwise when we put them in the oil, uh, it uh, spatters a lot and the meat uh, becomes very watery. There are lots of uh, variation of making meat. Sometimes we make meat uh, in the tunur, that's the traditional way. And today I'm going to braise it. And I'm gonna use the smallest of burner, this one. It's very important that you use a deep pan like this with a lid because we are going to braise it. Turn on the fire. Put in uh, enough oil. The oil is heated up already. I put uh, this meat side uh, down in the oil. Very gentle. Be gentle. It can spatter. Put the lid on it. I'm gonna cook it for about 10 minutes until it become a beautiful golden brown. And don't forget to turn the fire down to medium. In the meanwhile, I'm going to grind the cumin. In this way, we are going to release the intense flavor of the cumin. It smells so good. Now I'm gonna check them. Yes, this is good. Flip them over. Now I'm gonna wait uh, 10 minutes again to brown the other side. In the meanwhile, I'm going to cut the vegetables. You can cut the vegetables in your way. I cut carrots like this. Look at these vegetables. I like them uh, cut in this way. Each piece uh, looks different. I put some paprikas aside for later use. In the meanwhile, you can check the meat. If they are not golden brown, you can flip them and turn the fire a little higher. Look at this. This kind of golden edges. That's what I need. Before seasoning the meat, I'm going to turn the fire down to the smallest heat. Add some salt. Now I'm going to mix this two kind of uh, red seasoning as cayenne pepper and paprika powder. Now I'm going to season the meat with paprika. And now put a layer of cumin. Try to put the cumin on all the edges. Now turn the meat. Very gentle, carefully. Let the spices uh, stay on the meat. Now I'm going to put the pepper again 
on the top of the meat like this. Now again, cumin until you cover the meat with uh, lots of spices. We put this carefully in the pan, carrot, now with the onion. We are almost done here. Now along the edges, I'm going to put the water. Bring it to boil and then turn the fire down and braise it for one and a half hour. In the meanwhile, you can bake bazaar naan. If you check the recipe, you can find the recipe on my blog and the video on my YouTube channel because we are going to combine bazaar naan with spirits. It's so delicious. I'm going to cut the naan like pizza. When the ribs are ready, I'm going to put a little water into the pan and then put the naan pieces under the ribs. Let it soak up all the delicious sauce. And then we are going to display it on the plate. After one and a half hour, I think it's ready. Come here. We are going to open it. Wow, it looks good. It has enough sauce. I think uh, you don't need to put um, water in it. If you see not enough sauce, you can put a little water in it. Now I'm gonna put the naan pieces in the sauce like this from edges. Let it soak up sauce. Put the lid on it. Let it stay here for about two to three minutes. Warm the naan up. I'm going to display them one by one on the tawak, on the plate. They are beautiful. the fresh paprika into the pan mix it as a finishing touch sprinkle some uh, white sesame Lamb spirits are ready. I wish you could smell it because it smells so good. I can't wait to eat them all. Hope you like this video and see you next week. Bye!